the next zenith of power city skin has been announced officially by rise of kingdoms and i've gotten a lot of questions from you guys about what is coming next for the game people are asking me questions about when is the new civilization coming what civilization is it going to be whatever happened to the big graphics update and are we going to be getting vip 19 now that's everything that we're going to talk about in this video and this is all going to be covering information that we already know that maybe you guys have missed or forgotten about so i'm going to elaborate on everything give you guys my thoughts opinions and predictions but first what's going on guys cheers i mentioned in my last video that we're so close to 70,000 subscribers and a lot of you guys actually went and subscribed so thank you but we're not quite there yet so please go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a thumbs up while you're down there to push this video out into the algorithm okay now the first thing we're going to talk about here is the next zenith of power city skin you can see on the screen this is what we know so far they did not reveal at least at the time of recording this what this city skin is actually going to look like the official rise of kingdoms social media accounts have announced that it should be coming sometime in june and it looks like it's going to be a 15 percent archer health skin that will reduce your cavalry defense by five percent and infantry attack by five percent now this city skin is going to be very very competitive really the only players who should be looking to get their hands on this are rally and garrison leaders who are focusing on the archer troop type i mean that kind of goes without saying i personally think this is probably going to be one of the most valuable archer city skins in the game now a lot of players always say that archers only care about attack and i think that is a massive oversimplification depending on the commander pairing archer health is still going to be the stat that gives you the best trades in the open field and for rallies and for garrisons the reason that players say that archer attack is the most valuable is because a lot of times archers are the rally leaders and if you're in kingsland for example damage per second is the name of the game you don't care about the trade as much you really care about getting the burn and so in those scenarios archer attack is obviously going to be the most valuable but in the game as a whole archer health is still most likely going to be the stat that you have the least of in which case increasing your archer health by 15 percent is likely going to be the single best move to getting the best trades in the open fields and for rally garrisons again even though it's not going to be the highest damage per second possible so just wanted to clear that up for you guys if you're an archer rally or garrison lead you probably know all that already because you're a high-end player but again if you're just playing in the open field you're an archer main do you need this no you're probably still going to benefit most from the twilight falls city skin you can get this in the kvk shop you get five percent skill damage at the cost of ten percent infantry attack this is a no-brainer for archers if you're in the open field because you're going to be dealing a ton of aoe skill damage with yuge leong with herman and you may be still using nebu or ysg or or perhaps you're even using Ashurbanipal. All those commanders benefit tremendously from the Twilight Fall skin. So if you're an open field player, don't really worry too much about the Zenith of Power. Leave it to the rally and garrison leaders. Now, let me just speculate here for just a second. I think this announcement was super weird. This came out of nowhere. Usually they announce a Zenith of Power city skin with like an update or with like a holiday season or something like that. It's typically part of a larger update that's coming to the game. And I imagine that this will come with an update but usually they don't announce the zenith of power skin like all on its own as its own post right i'm not really sure why they decided to do that but what this makes me think is that we are going to be getting some sort of big update in june and as far as i know you can correct me if i'm wrong i don't think there's any big holidays that happen in june like am i brain dead do i well, like i have no idea but like it literally says it here we know we're getting this in june so i'm expecting some sort of a really interesting update to come in june and that's strictly because like this alone as an update is like very bizarre okay it's very bizarre i've been playing rise of kingdoms and following it and the news for years now and i don't remember the last time that they just announced a zenith of the power skin maybe i'm just forgetting i have no idea so yeah this makes me think we're going to get some sort of really cool update in june and what could that update be well it could just be some sort of summer event series right we typically get an event for the summertime which you know it could just be that but also what about a new civilization coming to rise of kingdoms if you guys remember and you've been following the channel for a few months now you'll remember that back in September I posted a video covering the five-year anniversary live stream from rise of kingdoms and in that live stream they did reveal that they already knew what the next civilization was going to be that was going to come in 2024 they are saying this is the 15th civilization to come to the game and yeah we already know we're getting a new civilization I think that was pretty much to be expected and if we look at 
previous civilizations added to rise of kingdoms we got the viking civilization at the end of may of 2021 we got the egypt civilization in the middle of june for 2022 and we got the ancient greece civilization in the middle of july in 2023 so based on their track record they're releasing a new civilization every summer and i think that if they were going to release it by the end of this month we probably would have heard something by now so it's probably not going to be in this in may but i do suspect it'll probably be in june or july and since we know that the zenith of power is coming in june and it typically comes with some sort of update i suspect we could be seeing a new civilization coming as soon as next month which is actually kind of crazy i didn't realize how quickly that could be coming to the game which i'm really excited about now does the silhouette for this zenith of power city skin resemble the silhouette for the city skin of the new civilization coming this year no it does not so i don't think that the zenith of power is going to have the same sort of theme as the new civilization just to be clear i mean there's just no similarities between the silhouettes so it is what it is but i just wanted to point that out really quickly now when it comes to what civilization actually is this well if you watched this video that i posted back in september then you'll know that all signs seem to be pointing towards the ancient mayan civilization okay if we look at the silhouettes here and especially this one well this is lady six guy from civilization the series civilization so i mean it to me like that silhouette is uncanny i can't unsee it now that i've seen it now one of the things that i pointed out in this video is that this is what pericles looks like in the civilization series and this is what pericles looks like in rise of kingdoms so to me the similarities are striking and so i don't think it's too much of a stretch that lady six guy from Civ would look similar in Rise of Kingdoms. Okay. Now, who the other silhouette here is, I don't know. This definitely seems to be like a womanly figure, right? And as a matter of fact, like this if we're being honest like this doesn't really look very womanly at all so i mean maybe it's just this uh, headdress sort of design that's completely throwing me off here this could be some sort of like savage male warrior right who knows but that's kind of just my best guess honestly i have no idea now obviously this other silhouette here looks like a woman i mean let's just be clear like there's a small waist big hips this is like a traditional type of woman silhouette i don't know what to tell you so one of these is going to be your epic commander the other is going to be your legendary commander in rise of kingdoms that has been the case forever every year we get a new civilization that's always going to be the case we have no idea what the details of the civilization are going to be i think there are two very viable possibilities the first is that it could be a new cavalry civilization the reason that i say that is because currently there are five civilizations in rise of kingdoms that give you a special troop type for both archers and for infantry cavalry only have four civilizations with a special troop type and so I think if we're going to make it balanced I think you know again the 15th civilization would mean five 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 so five for each troop type that would make the most sense to me what the other buffs are going to be I really have no idea I would love to see something challenge the Ottoman Empire I think this is like obviously the best open field by a mile and it's not even close if we saw cavalry get some sort of you know five percent skill damage five percent march speed I mean we're talking about an insane open field option for cavalry which would be crazy so that's that also Rome also gets a March speed bonus here with an infantry city skin and I don't think we have any March speed bonus for any of the um cavalry specialty civilizations either not that they need it but that is worth pointing out that both archers and infantry have five percent March speed on one of their choices cavalry do not so who knows um the other choice that it could be is that we could be getting our first engineering civilization now the reason that I'm saying this is because it seems like they've been putting a lot of things in the game lately that focus on engineering so for example we got the fierce wolf set we also just got the twilight epiphany weapon that came into the game for siege right now just quick side note this looks I mean based on like the design this clearly looks like it's supposed to be the sixth piece to that legendary set and yet it's still only a four piece set 
Lilith, what do you like? What's going on there? Like, was it too broken? Was it too broken? Who I could be the case. It was too broken. But not only that, they also added the immolating plume. And both of these pieces of equipment came after we got the latest engineering commanders that came to the game. Obviously, we have Gonzalo Cordoba and we have Gajra Mata. So it seems like they're trickling in more and more support for engineering. And it wouldn't be surprising to me if we got a civilization that had a special troop type or siege that gave you some sort of bonus to siege stats, right? Maybe that gives you 10% March speed or something like that, right? Or maybe it gives you, you know, a 5% bonus to ranged damage, or maybe it's ranged normal attacks or something like that. It could be the case that we see a siege or an engineering focused civilization to go with all the other engineering support that we've been seeing them add to rise of kingdoms over the past couple of months again this is all just speculation obviously are the mayans known for their you know catapults and their you know siege weapons i don't think so but i'm not an expert on the mayan civilization i don't think so but also are the mayans known for their cavalry units probably not uh, again i have no idea maybe they are maybe they aren't again who knows so i'm not sure what the bonuses could be for this when i think of mayans i think of either infantry or of archers if i'm being completely honest with you guys that's what i think of what makes the most sense in my head but from a game balance perspective those two seem like the least likely for what we need in the game now the next thing i want to talk about is vip 19. now i want to be very clear there has been no announcement or indication that vip 19 is coming down the pipeline but here's what i do want to point out first of all vip 17 was released in february of 2020 vip 18 was released in july of 2021 so it's been almost three years since vip 18 was the highest vip level like we're literally two months away from it being a three year gap since our last increase in the vip level now i do want to shout out chiskel gaming because he did post a video back in november and he said that he did speak to the devs about the implementation of vip 19 and at that time they said that they were basically or at least they hinted at or suggested that they were waiting for a certain percentage of the player base to reach vip 18 before considering adding vip 19. also i just noticed i'm one day away at reset at reset is going to be my 2000th login day boys let's go maybe i'll make a video about that if you if you made it this far in this video drop a thumbs up on it because you're gonna you're gonna know that i might make a video about this who knows anyway the dev suggested that at least back in november of 2023 not enough of the players had even hit vip 18 for them to consider increasing it to vip 19 okay they also floated and this is again something that chisco mentioned they were floating the idea or considering the idea of adding a shop that let you spend your excess vip tokens on something that was all that we got there uh obviously since then we haven't seen anything so i mean it is what it is we didn't get anything i know that there are other games i want to say i don't remember if it was land of empires or infinity kingdom but one of those two games if not both of them had a shop where you could spend your excess vip i'm not actually most positive that it was in infinity kingdom at least if not both of those games but regardless a vip shop where you can literally spend vip points that are excess is not uncommon for these types of games so i wouldn't be surprised if they did ultimately go that route and personally I would rather see them go that route than add a new VIP level. The reason that I think that they're going to add a VIP 19 this year, and this is personal opinion. This is just my own speculation. This is my gut feeling. And maybe it's not going to be VIP 19. Maybe it'll be a VIP shop or something like that. The reason that I think that is because I remember vividly, I was about to hit VIP 16 and then they added VIP 17. And then when I was about to hit VIP 17, they added VIP 18. And so I don't, obviously that could just be a coincidence, but I also think that perhaps my spend level and my sort of target demographic is closely in line with like the average spender in the game, maybe, or at least average long-term older player. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but historically speaking, Speaking, and this could just be my own bad luck but it seems to be the case that you know when i get close to the next vip level that's when they add a new vip level okay uh, and you can see here that i'm real close to vip 18 okay so i just feel like they they might just be adding vip 19 by the end of the year that's my gut feeling based on what's happened to me personally anecdotally over the past couple of years that's what i've noticed okay 
so who knows i could be completely wrong about that now do i want them to add a vip 19 no i do not i think that the bonuses for vip 18 are too powerful i think troop capacity is i mean that is one of the best stats in the entire game personally that seems to be like just too much right it's too much i don't want to see them add anything else if you're going to add anything to vip 19 make it you know make it like you know an increase in production speed gathering speed and like that's it like don't don't go crazy with it also you get march speed at vip 18 like vip 18 is very very powerful i don't think people even realize how powerful vip 18 is it's it's two of the you get more of the best stats in the game basically yes it's not all damage right the all damage comes from from 17 but like besides all damage like march speed and troop capacity are like the most important things for open field fighting and they also translate to things like sunset canyon lost canyon right like so i personally do not want to see anything crazy for vip 19. i personally don't even really want to see a vip 19. i would rather them just add a an exclusive shop that basically you know maybe it resets once a month and maybe you can get like five gold heads every month and and five legendary mats and maybe some gold and some resources right like just some very sort of generic things i don't know it just to me it seems like we don't need an, a vip 19 but i just want to let you guys know that i think there's going to be one by the end of the year that's my prediction i could be completely wrong i'm not basing that on any facts i'm not basing that on any data other than my own anecdotal experience being that typically when i'm about to max out the vip levels that's when they add a new one okay now the last thing that i want to talk about in this video is the graphical update for rise of kingdoms and i was a very big um proponent for this change i was one of the people that was i think talking about this the most at least out of the english speaking content creators the footage that i showed in my video of the so-called graphics update this footage here was released by Lilith officially but I believe it was only released in the for like the Chinese update video for the game and this was sort of like a sort of alpha or maybe a beta for sort of what they wanted the game to look like it's actual footage you know it's not implemented into the game or anything like that but essentially what they said when they showed off this footage and in the announcement video even in the English video they said that they were going to start rolling out the updates at the end of 2023 and they were going to start revamping the character models and things like that and that would be sort of the last thing that they do that should be finished by mid 2024. so we haven't heard anything since then about this update and in theory you know end of june would be like sort of the deadline that they themselves set for this being put into the game right and they did mention in their video that they were taking the most difficult approach possible in that they were completely rebuilding the entire map like that was their strategy it wasn't just going to be a retexturing you can see here that like these mountains for example like th this is not a retexture of what's already in the game if you look at the mountains in the game they're basically little triangles okay so like this is a complete overhaul of the actual like mesh of the map okay and so i think and this is my speculation i suspect they probably hit some sort of road bumps or roadblocks or things that made this rollout a lot more difficult than they anticipated and that opinion is just based on the fact that we have not heard anything about this and we're almost at the deadline of when we were supposed to expect this to be completely finished and rolled out so i think that their original goal and timeline was very ambitious i think rise of kingdoms desperately needs a facelift i think that if there is a single thing that brings old players back to the game it would be this graphical update and if there's a single thing that brings uninterested parties suddenly interested in the game i think it would be better graphics right i think a lot of us who've played the game for years we think the graphics are fine they're acceptable and that's you know it's true i think it's, it is what it is but for a lot of players like the graphics in rise of kingdoms do not compete with anything on the market right now like the market most games on the market have infinitely better graphics than rise of kingdoms that's just a fact that is just objective i mean you look at you know any game that's come out in the past two or three years those games have better graphics than rise of kingdoms typically unless they're in a specific genre or they're going for a specific art style okay what i'm trying to say is if they if rise of kingdoms wants to appeal to uh, you know a new audience that maybe wasn't originally interested in rise of kingdoms a super bright super vibrant graphical rehaul with 3d textures 
would be a great way to get new players to at least try the game and like i said old players who quit might be really interested in coming back and seeing oh my god rise of kingdoms looks so much better now it looks brand new it's a fresh coat of paint that could get people to jump back in and just speak, speaking from my personal experience i only fight in dot mode and that's because you just get better trades in dot mode if you're playing on pc like if you know what you're doing dot mode is infinitely uh, it's better it's just better you know what you can actually see what you're doing in dot mode okay but it's also the least visually appealing and the most boring way to play the game right i mean it just is now if you care about your trades and, and fighting well you'll do it like i do but i gotta tell you if you're playing a dot mode for 12 hours it certainly is not the most impressive gameplay to watch right and so what i would really love is if we get this graphical update keep dot mode right because whatever they did with that mode it's it's very clear it's concise it's easily understood I like that and that makes it good for min maxers like me and you guys but we got to make it a little bit more visually appealing right we gotta, gotta, gotta get a little bit more something right because it, it, it's just i don't know or you got to make it so that way it's easier to play the game and know what's going on without dot mode and i think a graphical overhaul could be the answer to that the only possible hint that we could have gotten that maybe slipped through the cracks here is on the official rise of kingdoms youtube channel they do have a couple of youtube shorts that show off 3d models of some of the different troop types in rise of kingdoms right um and these models look incredible by the way i mean like i'm just gonna play it again in case you guys missed it but you can see like they put a lot of detail into these 3d models and renders they look really good i mean it kind of reminds me of like clash of clans or clash royale like the sort of chunky 3d models i think look incredible especially the gold the shine on the gold looks amazing and here you can see some of the i think these are the special units from china you can see them actually like firing in the field right now th this footage is you know it's used on the official channel and like what are the odds that this footage was made specifically for this youtube short i think that's no i, I don't think they would go through all the effort of doing all this just for a youtube short it barely has like what two, what 238 likes like i mean the, the the amount of time and effort it would take to make these three to models it's just not worth it right at least for the the views and things like that so my suspicion is that these 3d models that we see here were either made for advertisements right like the ads that you see on facebook instagram whatever and they just you know are using these assets for a youtube short which would make sense i mean you might as well get use out of them if you made all the assets but it also could be the case that like these are some of the assets that they're making or that they already made for the graphical overhaul of the game right and i think that if we look at these models i can easily picture these types of models and the style of these models i can easily see them fitting in with the proposed art style that was shown back in september for the chinese players i mean just imagine your different troops walking around this battlefield the game just looks so much better dude oh my god i hope it comes soon i hope we hear something soon because oh my god i just get excited looking at it man i want rise of kingdoms to look like this it looks so good look at how the shadows change man as the sun is setting the shadows get longer look at the light the light glistening off the water over there i need it bro i need it oh my god anyway guys those are all my predictions for the next couple of months in rise of kingdoms we already know the zenith of power stats are confirmed we already know it's coming in june we already know that we you know based on previous years we typically get a new civilization in either may june or july i think those things could line up we also know that the graphical update sort of deadline that they gave themselves would end in june of course that was very loose that is not gospel that is not law that that was just a they just suggested that it, it, you know they don't have to stick to that timeline obviously but that was a suggestion that they made in the five-year anniversary video could we be seeing that that line up with the release of the zenith skin with the release of the new mayan civilization that we think is maya i don't know i don't know if it's actually the mayans and will we be seeing a vip 19 in 2024 i think we will anyway guys let me know what you think in the comment section below what do you think about the different speculations that i've made in this video do you think that i could be right do you think that i could be wrong i would love to hear from you guys and while you're down there like i said consider subscribing we're so close to 70,000 subscribers it would really mean the world to me if you click that sub button most of you guys are not sub so go ahead and click it it's free you can always unsub later if you don't want to be subbed and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace